An overview of the Xi'an language for diplomats A word from the Office of Xenolinguistic Protocol Greetings, Xenolinguists in Training In the interest of facilitating cross-species understanding, the UEE Diplomatic Corps Office of Xenolinguistic Protocol and the Xi'an Imperial Academy have prepared a broad overview of the Xi'an language for human study. This document, while not comprehensive, is meant to provide a solid grounding in the basics of Xi'an language and culture. After mastering this overview, you will not only gain understanding of how to construct Xi'an phrases and sentences, you will also begin to understand the nuances of Xi'an culture and protocol. This understanding will be key on your journey towards obtaining fluency in Xi'an language, Uoaxion. Xi'an language Xi'an language or Uoaxion in standard Romanized Xi'an, SRX, is a tonal language with vowel and consonant sounds that will be familiar to many humans. Those who have a background in other tonal languages may have an easier time mastering Uoaxion than humans without similar backgrounds. However, any spoken language can be mastered by those willing to put in the effort to learn. There are many dialects of Uoaxion. The Saoxian Xi'an Empire spans multiple systems and has developed unique slang, tonal quirks, and pronunciation. Knowledge in proper Xi'an, Uoaxian, provides the best baseline to comprehending many Xi'an dialects. The service dialect, Uoaxian, another popular permutation of Uoaxian, breaks some of the rules of Uoaxian while still maintaining its status as a Xi'an language. You will see this from time to time in your studies. For now, we will focus on attaining familiarity with Uoaxian. Language lessons in this document The Full Xi'an Alphabet Introduction to Standard Romanized Xi'an Pronunciation Guides Parts of Speech Relational Particles Formal Verses in Formal Language Basic Sentence Construction and More Xi'an Culture True Language Mastery can only be obtained with thorough study and experience in the culture from which the language originated. With that in mind, many common pitfalls humans face when conversing with our Xi'an allies have been covered in this document. For example, it is important to use polite speech while conversing with an unfamiliar Xi'an, but it is equally important to avoid communicating a feeling of artifice, nagiaching. Once you're close enough with a Xi'an, it is similarly important to become comfortable with casual language. But how do you know when you've reached that level of familiarity? What clues do you look for? What, if you make a mistake? All these questions will be addressed, providing you with the tools you need to succeed when you interact with the Xi'an. Cultural lessons in this document Xi'an family structure Xi'an relationships An overview of Xi'an colors personal names versus family names common. Societal titles How to shop in the Xi'an empire notes on Xi'an religions and more A strong foundation Xi'an culture. Just like human culture, is complex enough that it isn't easy to cover in a single document. If it were comprehensive, it would span several volumes and take years of constant study and practice to understand. This overview, therefore, is not complete. But it does represent a first step into a larger universe of understanding. As Professor Tai puts it in his letter, Yan Lekel, best wishes for your studies. UEE Diplomatic Corps Office of Xenolinguistic Protocol New York, Earth, Sol 2947 UEE Diplomatic Corps An Overview of the Xi'an Language for Diplomats Produced by the Office of Xenolinguistic Protocol 3rd Edition 2947 DC Library Item Code LNG.295.323, D32, X87.3.6 Genesis This document has been prepared by linguists, current and former UEE diplomats to the Saoxian, Saoxian, the Xi'an Empire, and several Xi'an collaborators adept in human culture and fluent in UEE standard. Purpose If you have been granted access to this document then you are a candidate to be trained in the Xi'an language to the level appropriate for your current assignment. This document is not a training course per se, but it will give you an extensive overview of the Xi'an language from a perspective relevant to diplomacy. 
It covers the sound system, writing, basic grammar, and a solid block of vocabulary from the proper Xi'an language. After fully reviewing and studying this document you should be able to have an informed discussion with your supervisor about your interest in further study. If you demonstrate aptitude for the language then you will likely be supported by the DC for interactive lessons and possibly even class time with native speakers. Collaboration by Master Professor Tai the third edition has been updated to include additions and corrections suggested by Master Professor Tai Nyat Oyanhiti.ai and YM2 YN and Tai Ta of the Xi'an Imperial Academy on Kawa. The venerated professor has spent countless decades studying our culture and interacting with our people. He speaks over 90 languages and is completely fluent in many of our own. He is also very well versed in the predictable pitfalls that we encounter when delving into Xi'an society and speech. An address by him to everyone who will consume this document follows on the next page in letter form, first in Xi'an as he composed it, then on subsequent pages in standard Romanized Xi'an, SRX, and finally in translation. Many of the grammatical structures that the master professor uses in the letter are covered in the this text as is all of the vocabulary. So, for the linguistically adventurous, you might be able to figure out the language used in the letter and even read it if you possess anything like the Xi'an sense of yay, why and, consummate patience and perseverance. However, it should be noted that the master professor uses a rather formal tone in what he has written on this occasion. So do not assume that you will hear all or even most Xi'an individuals speaking this way in everyday life. What you should not expect it is not possible to become fluent in Xi'an simply through studying this document. The vocabulary given herein is not complete by any means. Many terms that you will find you need must be looked up in separate dictionaries. However, when you've made it through all of this material you might already be conversational in Xi'an. You will have covered basic greetings and the most common sentence structures in addition to the Xi'an alphabet. You may contact the DC Library for further assistance with proper approval. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 2 of 1722947 Greetings from Master Professor Tai The Master Professor's Letter of Encouragement in its original formatting. You are probably already aware that Xi'an in the Sao Xi'an, Sao Shan, is almost always written vertically from the upper right flowing to the lower left. It does occur horizontally in special circumstances, however. We are fortunate in the UEE that this is so because it makes learning to read the Xi'an alphabet in a mixed context with our writing much easier. The Xi'an have as many different styles in which to write their language as we do but all text in this document has been typeset in a style known as Shintleya, Shintli, because it is very common in the Sao Xi'an, and as the name implies, considered quite proper by the Xi'an. The name literally means, proper writing. Details on how the Xi'an alphabet is composed into blocks of letters follow in a subsequent section of this document. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 3 of 1722947 Zinte in the typeface title Shintleya set in itself Z, Su Len, Sat Sen NY, Hu, Plus Hu, Sao, Kuna, Lo. SRX because the UEE has a long history of contact with the Xi'an, and because that history was not always based on freely flowing cultural exchange. Xi'an words have ended up spelled many different ways when written in the Roman alphabet. For example, even the name Xi'an itself is commonly spelled Xi'an with an intermittent capitalized A in many contexts. This occurred due to misconceptions about Xi'an writing in early centuries. We also commonly spell the Xi'an planet name Kawa as Kawa based on how non-Xi'an speakers heard it being pronounced centuries ago. The Xi'an Emperor's family line, technically, K-R-E, is spelled Kray in everyday standard. The Xi'an given names U.A.L., R.E.V., and S.O.M. are often spelled as Wal, Wraith, and So.M. respectively. These spellings are not incorrect and spelling names in this way is not offensive to the Xi'an. But this humanized way of writing their language fails to account for the fact that Xi'an is pitch-based and that pitch is important. 
Therefore, this document and all official transcriptions of Xi'an into our writing system use standard Romanized Xi'an, SRX, a notation system developed collaboratively between the DCOXLP and the Xi'an Imperial Academy. You have likely already noticed interstitial periods, example, K-R, E, and interstitial apostrophes, as in, Xi'an, and possibly even, orphaned, quotation marks, e.g., Li, when encountering SRX. These punctuation marks were selected from the regular human repertoire of symbols because they roughly parallel the annotative diacritics that the Xi'an use in their native orthography, writing system. The Xi'an pitch system will be explained in great detail later in this document. But here is a quick guide to help you not feel totally lost when first encountering the letter from Master Professor Tai and SRX. Nathlin, deep understanding and appreciation for something, example of neutral pitch both syllables of this word are in a completely neutral pitch. Neither receives more stress or emphasis. Ni, as in knife minus the F sound at the end, plus THLN, in which the N is pronounced much like the OON, in Kroon, the THL is considered to be a single sound to the Xi'an and we produce it as a contact cluster when we say with love very rapidly. Keep your voice very neutral and relaxed when saying Nathlin and give both syllables the same mid-range, neutral pitch. Note that there are no periods or apostrophes present. Tioma, culture, example of falling pitch This is the most common pitch pattern in the language, especially for two-syllable words. Tio, one syllable in which you should treat Tai as a consonant cluster, is at a medium-high pitch and MA falls past neutral to a medium-low pitch. Most humans who do not already speak a pitch-based language will hear this as the Tio being stressed. The single apostrophe signals that the pitch drops on MA. M, O, A, all, total, every, example of low pitch This pitch pattern with a singe interstitial period indicates that the pitch is low. M, O, A is pronounced as a single syllable, very much like the extinct terrestrial bird but with the voice kept equally low on both the O and the A. Which linguists count as a diphthong? The period that indicates low pitch is typically placed after the consonant if one is present, or before the vowel if there is no consonant. A good example of this is the grammatical particle, you that marks words or phrases that provide context for verbal constructs. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 4 of 172-2947 Li, One's Path as Life is Lived. Example of high pitch This pitch pattern with a singe appended double quote indicates that the pitch is high. This marking occurs on single syllable words and on the second syllable when the pitch rises to high. Most rising patterns do not rise all the way to high. But in certain words it is important to go all the way up, and when that is the case the high pitch marker is used. It's important to note that many inherently high pitch words like Li lose their formal high pitch when they combine in falling patterns. This is the case in Li Chua, for example. This is the SRX spelling of the Xi'an, religious tradition that you may know commonly spelled in the UEE as Li Tova or Litova. In this word the initial li syllable occurs at only a mid-high pitch. Inherently high-pitched syllables are much more likely to retain high pitch when they occur as the very last syllable in a compound word. For example ni, li, minor enlightenment, from the li tova tradition. In this word, ni is at a mid-low pitch or even neutral pitch and pops up all the way into the high range on li. This is a rise to high pattern and it is fairly common in the language. A side note on capitalization, the Xi'an have a very different sense about capitalization than we do in the UEE in standard. The SRX in this document attempts to match their sense as closely as possible. Hence words like Nai, Li, end up with interstitial capitals. More will be explained about this later in the document. Ya, yeah, you, this indicating this thing, example of normal rising pitch This pitch pattern is also common in Xi'an, but somewhat less so than the falling pattern. It uses both a dot period and an apostrophe to show that the first syllable is lower in pitch than the second. It is important to note that this first period forms a pair with the apostrophe that follows it. They should be read together. And, the ya syllable is not necessarily technically low as you might guess. In fact, it is only mid-low. 
Similarly, the second syllable, U, is only mid-high. Many learners of Xi'an find this ambiguity in SRX annoying and there have been human attempts in the past to adopt a comma in lieu of a period for marking this pitch pattern, because they argue it would better mimic the native Xi'an spelling diacritics. However, objections recognized, the period plus apostrophe solution stands. The saving grace in this ambiguity in SRX is that in the spoken language, in almost all rising patterns, no meaningful difference occurs in a mid-low versus true low pitch departure point for the rise. That is to say, it is not really necessary to mark a theoretical true low versus mid-low pitch because the modern language does not Make that distinction except in a few minor world dialects that you are very unlikely to encounter and some slang. When linguists make notes on dialect using SRX, true low in a rising configuration is marked with. As in the Xi'an youth slang term M, Amun, crazy like a human, this is actually a positive connotation meaning that one is able to thoroughly enjoy oneself without any inhibition. In this term the first syllable is true low and the rise is to true high. You will not encounter this in everyday speech. More will follow later on other patterns, but it is also important to be able to recognize the rise to fall pattern as an I, THL, yeah, moral, ethics, the right choice. The I is mid low, THLE is mid high, and then the final A falls to mid low again. This all seems very complicated, but the good news is that in everyday speech, at least in terms of getting your meaning across, it will not be as hard as it seems. There are very few second or third language learners of Xi'an who get the language pitch perfect, so you will be in good company if you make mistakes. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 5 of 172-2947 Next, a few cautionary words about the long vowels indicated with macrons and the double I, A, E, E, O, U. Making a proper vowel length distinction is a bit more necessary in Xi'an than having perfect pitch. You are more likely to be misunderstood for this linguistic faux pas than for not getting your pitch high or low enough. For example, I, choice, selection, versus, E, multiply, duplicate, breed. Or, AL, outgoing, external, projecting externally, depart, exit, export, versus AL, subconscious meditation, fugue meditation, reverie. There can also be an interplay of pitch and vowel length in getting your meaning right, a object, tangible thing, versus a fit, fit into, versus a continuation, forward, movement. E, light brightness, shine, could be compared to E and I above. Also germane to this comparison, I, epic, holy, in the sense of beyond belief, versus I, plant, generic term for plant, flora, juxtaposed against fauna. These distinctions also occur in the diphthong pairs, I, I, O, O, and Oa, Oa. Note that Ia and Ea are not technically considered diphthongs by Xi'an linguists. But many humans hear them as such. It is best to learn these distinctions by listening to native speakers and imitated them. Finally, a note on U plus A, E, I, O and the diphthongs, it is pronounced as W, in this context. Hence U equals Wa, U E equals a W E H, U E equals We, U O equals Wo. This remains the case when combined with other consonants. Pua, Nua, and Kuo produce P W A H and W A H and K W O H, not Pua, Noa, or Kuo. Similarly, Y produces consonant clusters with other consonants. It is never a vowel by itself as it is in U E E standard. Some of the clusters, e.g. li, ry, ngy, etc., can be very difficult for speakers of standard to produce. More later on this. Greetings Ramonzi in SRX here you have the full letter from Master Professor Tai in SRX. Here you have the full letter from Master Professor Tai in SRX. Ziaswalin. S. Athsen Nyo, U Sao, O Kue Nyo, O Ha. Nyo X Yang, O Kue Pa Tang A Yo O Sa Zi Izo, E E So Chao, U Sao E P, Uthlea. U Y A I Pox Ya, U Se Hu Sao U E Nu E Nathlani Hu Tioma U T H Yelani, A, U Hu Nyam, O Se Nyo, Ang. 
Suo nai boi p. ui, a ang o ya and i u a them ui, u o a ilui, u t say. E x y i ni a o i pu and chow pu sao say s, ath. E o, aha, u x y i and telling nu e nai o a tiao e m, o m, o a, u t h, e ko su nai boi ten tang ha ha, tio ma sai and say n y o, u, s, ath. T O P I N L E C H A N U E N A O A U A T I A N E N G I U E O U A A T I K O I N U E P O T I O T I U U T H U S H I R A U M U N G U E N U E P O T I O H I U A T E T A E M O A U E N Y O U U E P U U E T U U E C H I N I A E K U E I T H L Y A L O L I S U N I O A N I A P U S A W I N A K I T O A T T H L E O P A T I O X I A U E P E N R I I M 163 U O A Y A N I U T U O S A S U A A N U T U N C H I N U A O S O E U L I L I U T N I O S A T E H A O T U T H E T I K U I N I O A X Y A N G O K I U T N I O A U T I A O Y A T I A E Y A I S A T I A A S O C H A L A T I N G P U A O E E K O Y A T I Y A I S O T H A N G S A T O Q I J U A E Y O T I N I R E E O U S U M U A U T H E K I U N U E N Y O U M P I I E H W A N G A N G O Y A N I U Y E N K U E E E P W A N G Y A N K U E E E O Y O U N U E T E T H S A N Y O U U N U E T I A W A S A S O E N Y A H I N I O Y O E S U N J A M I A Y O O Y A N Y O U U E T N I E T H E W A N G M U A U N U E U N Y A X T A O DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 6 of 172-2947, OUOXYI Nagik, UUOE Filea Se Xi'an Niowa. EA Yethi Owen, Yumoa, Teen Sao Xi'an Yuth Tiao E Sian. Suau Kia Mami Ria E Chi Wa, UAA Tenchu E Tu E E Pew. UOA Se Hyeth Se NYO, U. O N G Y A N dot N G S A T H U T E T H S A N Y O U U T H O N G Y A S U I K A U N H U I T A S A Y dot T H A O S U H U O U H U N I A S O T H S A T H U T K U U T H O S A S U L T A R A U O A Y A U T K U U E Y E Y A N G T H L E O A U O L E U T U O A B A L E A X Y A N G E K I R U N E K A L E E Y N I U A T N G I E T I O M A S A N Y O U S A T E E N E H U O U N U E N Y O U U O X Y O N U T H L O U N U E S A T H U N I G I M I N G A O Q I C U A S J A L I O E T U Z U M X Y A N G O Y A O Y A O N I S A T A then say N Y O U then say S ath new kali O Y O H A T H S ath kaiyxin say N Y O U A A Puang say N Y O U U Kren Kum say S ath new kali O Y O Chen U S A L X Y A M say U O A L U I U N Y O Ang O N G Y A N S ath U N G I T Ang U T H Z I N T U C N Y A U U E Y A I U O X I O N U T H O N G Y A H U U N U E L E S A S ath U T H O Y A N I A D O T H A O S A U O A Z I T H L I N U H U N Y A N Y O U S A M O A U T I T O A T H E A A Q S A S I O N O M I L N G I M U N G U R I A M I N J A R E O S U T I N U E S ath E O E E T H A N T A N G E P U O N G U T H T A Y U N G U N G U O A X I O N E R U N P I N G U L O S U T O A T L O M T H L E L O S A T H T A Y L N Y E E T O N G U T H R N E S U T E N T A N G R A U E P A P A Y U K A H I A T A N Y O K I S A N H I O S A N Y O A N G T H L E U P O S A N E Y O H U A N G U T H O U K U M S A Y O A N G E K I A P A P A Y U K A H I O U E N Y O A N G O Lui, A S, Ath Yo Nui Yilin, U Ria Pokia E O Kia, and Yahi and U O Y, E Hu Yil, U Y A I M, U X C, O A T, O Yo Sa Yo, U Tao Moa, Tiang Ilin, E Shwe U Ath Kiaso, E E Ya and Y O, U E Tin Tang, U Li Pochin, U T H N Jasoth, U T H Puo M, U E Sa N Y O, Ang T H L E H A L O N Y O U E M O A T I A Y L A D O T H A O Y O S U T A O U E N G Y A H E O S A S O E E N U E P O N G Y A U Z N Y O A N G U E T C H I S A H I N U E N G I P O S A
Ea, Yushu Kue Yo Lai Yo O Nai Yu Lias Eth Yu Z E F O Tioma and Y O U L O Hun Ying at Lias A Shiani Ruz Tank the dot th A E O Sa U Solar Wang Nui Nia Sawi Kuashu A Se Sang Yith Se Yirith T H L E O A K Tuawi Te I San Yu Yen Kui Puang Yan Kui E S Eth N Y O Ang O Nile, O N Y O, Ang, U with Nile, O Say So, E, Yo, U New E N Y O, Ang, N J N U T H La Sataya Hin U R Izu. A dot T H A, E Pi and E Poteo U with Nigi Aching, U Yen Toeth Yani Yo Tae Lu I Say Hu Li U, E. E Kai and I E P, U I E L Rai Sion, U H U P E T U O Axion S F. X U and N Y A. A dot th a oku a su youth yunayan he yan u th nishuth lea yan lekel senchen nai tu yani t dot a i u o kyo se u o alu i tai on puang se sao si on chie o n o na i kawa 2947 1164 i i i u y u i tang a a ith lea u e x y i chao pu sao se sao hi m d c o x l p Xi'an Overview 7 of 172-2947 Translation of Greetings Greetings Diplomats It is a great honor for me to have been asked to cooperate with your kind diplomatic ambassadors on this inter-imperial endeavor for cross-cultural understanding and enduring harmony between our peoples. I laud your diplomatic corps understanding that it is better to learn a new language with the assistance of native speakers. I have always loved all language of all types, and I'm sure you are already aware that our cultures are quite different. My life has taught me the vital role that language plays as a tool for facilitating, and at times, sadly, complicating, all of our interests, political, economic, social, and moral. I am no specialist in diplomacy, but I have spent approximately 163 of your years learning your languages, studying your literature, and directly engaging your people. It is a great irony and arrogant of me to confess that I likely know more about you as a civilization than you know about yourselves. However, none of us lives forever, and that brings us all to the matter of the importance of everyone who can learn as much as we can about our worlds, including each other's languages. We also carry the responsibility for transmitting that crucial knowledge and understanding to future generations. My mother tongue is proper Xi'an. You are likely aware that, almost to the last, the Xi'an share two dialects. Our service speech is rich with a zesty tang like a perfectly fermented broth. If you visit our worlds and spend time in our cities you will hear it among our citizens and perhaps one day you will even speak it and dream in it as you sleep. But for your purposes now in learning the central context of our culture, I will address you only in proper tongue. Our language is beautiful to us and often challenging for you, but fear not, you can learn it. Your eyes are like our eyes that you may read our script. Your mouths are close enough to ours that we can live without xenolinguistic boundaries between us. If you study this introduction to Xi'an carefully and commit knowing it to your leaker, way through life, you will speak and commune among all our people with Xi'an Escalon. A confident grace. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you will face. Xi'an is not fraught with myriad inconsistencies and exceptions. There are a few, of course, but you are an intelligent and tenacious people. As with our craft in the vacuum of space, there are differences, but in the end, those do not actually matter. In the void, we are all the same. In war, as we all fight, you pray for peace, while we contemplate and meditate on how a new kind of peace might forever prevent more conflict. Our methods are different in living, style, and speaking. But nonetheless we are all sentient beings and we can find every facet of our common ground when we are committed to helping each other in the quest together. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 8 of 172-2947 You are likely to find our culture inscrutable at first encounter. The Xi'an sense of propriety is often strict and may seem unforgiving to neophyte citizens of the UEE, but I assure you that we are as emotionally bold as you. 
We respect mutual respect. We delight in intelligence and art in all its fashions and flavors, and our intuition for detecting artifice is as keen as any other in the universe. What you may not see in our faces, you will come to grasp between the columns, in our language. Strive, and you will be rewarded for your patience and dedication. Yan Lekel, best wishes for your studies. Master Professor Tai Dean of Xeno Linguistics Xi'an Imperial Academy Unona, Kawa 2947 3.1164 at the behest of the UEE Diplomatic Corps. Lost in translation One thing that does not show up in the UEE standard translation above is the formal tone that Master Professor Tai has chosen. This comes across both in the formal verb forms he uses, e, o, l, o instead of e, o, and lo, and in the formal pronouns nioa, i, s, at, all of you, nyo, you, us with you, and nyo, ang, all of us, but not you. These verbs and pronouns are not uncommon in diplomatic situations. They demonstrate respect for the listeners and subject matter being discussed. However, everyday Xi'an are not likely to be using them while shopping or dealing with permits at governmental offices, etc. You will be taught these forms and it is not socially dangerous for you to use them, but they can be a double-edged sword. At some point in your relationships with the Xi'an you will want to switch to a more everyday, yet polite style of speech. Remaining overly polite can create an artificial sense of distance or vain flattery and be taken as haughty or a sign of nagiyajing, artifice, niaisen. Likewise, there are familiar versions of verbs and pronouns as well, and you do not want to use those when speaking to strangers. This will all be covered in detail later in the document. But be prepared for this formality paradigm to be one of the things you might struggle with in learning and using the language effectively. It is not actually possible to translate these subtleties easily, if at all, into UEE standard, so diplomats in particular must take care. All Class III core interpreters are fully certified in Xi'an honorifics, so if one is available to you and you are unsure about formality and tone in any official capacity, you should err on the side of using the interpreter and not trying to go it alone. DCOXLP Xi'an Overview 9 of 1722947 Proper Xi'an In his letter Master Professor Tai references the fact that his native tongue is proper Xi'an. This does not mean that he was raised in an elite family who were sticklers for grammar, but rather that he speaks the Xi'an equivalent of UEE standard. Because the Saoxian spans worlds even unknown to the UEE, there are numerous dialects and languages spoken across their empire. However, two dialects dominate. In addition to the proper language Uoa Ethalea, Uanite and the so-called service dialect Uoa Say Hyeth Uan Say Hyt is also everywhere in daily use. It is a multi-millennia old remnant of the military-centric unification of their empire by the Rua dynasty in the dawn of the First Imperial Age, 1.02-1.13-13769 1 BC. It has changed over time, of course. Today it is used not only by the Xi'an Defense Forces, but by everyone in the Imperial Bureaucracy during their 30 Xi'an year-long service to the Sao Xi'an. We mention it here because you will hear it spoken in their territories, everywhere, and you should not try to learn it and use it with their citizens. In rare cases, members in Xi'an service will speak a provincial dialect as their first language, the service dialect as their second language. And only learn proper Xi'an as a third language in their early maturity. These individuals do speak the proper language badly at times, but as a diplomat, you are very unlikely to have interactions with them. We point out the pervasiveness of the dialectal variations only so that you will understand that a few important Xi'an words were borrowed into UEE standard centuries ago from dialects that are not the proper language of today. One of these, the name, Litova, is a prime example. The VA syllable of this word as we use it in standard is correctly pronounced wa in the proper tongue. There are also numerous animal and plant names as well as planet and place names across their empire in common use in the proper tongue that retain sounds from other dialects. In learning such terms, 
It is best to imitate the pronunciations you hear when your Xi'an counterparts are speaking the proper language and not insist on pronouncing things strictly as they are spelled in the Xi'an alphabet. Pronunciation exceptions are generally called out in dictionaries. In the sound system we are about to introduce in the next section you will learn, for example, that P.U.A., the number 3, is pronounced with an initial consonant cluster sound P.W. However, in some dialects this becomes a sound very close to standards F. That does not mean that there is a way spell an F in the proper language. No such discrete symbol exists. You may learn a place name at some point that sounds like it has an F in it. For example, the historic landmark town Rufen which the Xi'an used symbolically to mean, way out in nowhere, CF Timbuktu. This name is actually spelled degree loop Yuan where we use the raised degree in SRX to indicate the pronunciation includes sounds from dialect. That will be your only hint to take care with the sounds in that word. More details on the sound variations will follow shortly, but for the time being, prepare your learning mode to cling to focusing on the proper language, while simultaneously accepting that you will hear some things said in Xi'an, and see them spelled in our standard conventions, that seemed to violate the rules you must next master. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 10 of 172-2947 The sounds of Xi'an despite the potential challenges of pitch and vowel length, Xi'an is not an extremely difficult language to pronounce. Because vowels and diphthongs, vowels in a cluster, are prominent in the language we will begin there. The pronunciation guidelines are approximations. It is ideal that you learn to pronounce Xi'an via listening to recordings of native speakers. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 11 of 172-2947, vowels when short when long notes A. As the A in father double the short value in length greater than a greater than AA is the U in but. Cut N, A on extra short A asterisk dialects, slang O, O is the O in cone, bone double the short value in length greater than O greater than OU. U as the U in flu double the short value in length greater than U greater than U E, E as the E in bet, set, let as the I in day, say. Slay greater than E greater than E I, E as the E E in C, spree double the short value in length greater than I greater than I diphthongs ow. Ow similar to O U in out double the short value in length greater than A greater than A O A. O A as in O A in O A double the short value in length greater than O greater than O I. I as in I double the short value in length greater than a greater than a, consonants approximate value notes P as P in pin greater than PK as K in kin, and only in dialect and slang as CK in kick greater than K asterisk, ak dialect, slang T as T in tin greater than PS as S in sit greater than SH as H in hit greater than HM as M in metonymy and him greater than mem N as N in net and N in kin greater than naning as ing in singing and ing. In song greater than nan th is th and then and th and with greater than tat l a z l and lit and l l and tell greater than lol r is r in Spanish rojo. Or Italian rosa at flap, lightly trilled. r greater than r asterisk r dialect, slang beware of these common human pitfalls u and y in consonant clusters u before any other vowel or diphthong becomes a w, therefore after the consonants p. K, T, S, H, M, N, I, T, H, L, R, X, and C, H. It forms with these sounds the consonant clusters P, W, K, W, T, W, S, W, H, W, M, W, N, W, N, G, W, T, H, W, X, W, and C, H, W. You will be tempted to use a asterisk W in SRX, but it does not have one due to how it mimics the native Xi'an script. Wherever you see pu underscore, ku underscore, tu underscore, su underscore, hu underscore, mu underscore, nu underscore, ngu underscore, tu underscore, lu underscore, ru underscore, shu underscore, and shu underscore you must think but not write pw underscore, kw underscore, tw underscore, sw underscore. 
HW underscore MW underscore NW underscore NGW underscore THW underscore LW underscore RW underscore XW underscore and CHW underscore. This is simply a reality of how the language and SRX work. You have to deal with it. If you pronounce the she on word for woman, female, which is nua and wah nu as if it were noah in two syllables. The Xi'an will likely hear it as nui, nuindit, which means, fresh, dead meat ready for consumption, needless to say. This is problematic when it happens and with new learners it happens a lot. Don't let it happen to you. Y is always as consonant in Xi'an. It is never pronounced as the diphthong ai or i. Therefore, myu is not myu, but the single syllable myu is the mu in the standard word mu'nt. This holds true for all scenarios of P, K, T, S, H, M, N, Inc, T, H, L, R, plus Y. The cases of X, Y and C, H, Y require a bit of special explanation and are covered below. P, Y, U equals Pew. Q equals Q. Yun equals Yun. N, Y, U equals Nu. This is not simply the case with the vowel U, but with all vowels and the diphthongs. Practice. Often. DCOXLP. Xi'an Overview 12 of 172-2947. Consonants Approximate Value Notes THLA's TH plus LNU with love greater than TX as share and sherbet. The tongue is slightly retracted, greater than X. New sounds X, Y, and C, H, Y. These are exciting times in Xi'an linguistics. Because we can almost see the language evolving, live. The X, Sh, sh sound and C, H sound are splitting into two different variations. X alone in the proper language is now tending to curl back, technically speaking, retroflex in the Xi'an mouth, but when it occurs with Y in a consonant cluster, it is pulled forward away from that tendency to curl back. So the X and Z, meeting, coming together, joining, and the X combined with Y and XYE, child, juvenile, are very distinctly different to the Xi'an, so much so that in the past several hundred Xi'an years they have invented a new letter to write XY, greater than X. The same process is affecting CH. But a new letter for this cluster is yet to be created and taught to a new generation. You will see this XY letter very often because it happens even in the abbreviated term for Xi'an, Xi and an, which is Zion, Sun and. Do not be confused by the placement of the in SRX in this example. This is purposeful. It demonstrates a falling pitch on a short, single syllable. This is somewhat rare in the language, but you will also encounter it in the word Kia, which refers to fighting or battle. Typically pitch will only change across two syllables a diphthong, or minimally a long vowel. But there are some exceptions, the dreading starting words if you can master the sound in Xi'an along with its clusters NGU underscore and NGY underscore you will likely be fast-tracked by the DC for a full-ride scholarship to Xi'an language school. It is the same sound that we have in one of the most common words in our language, thing. As a side note, thing is also a word in Xi'an. Be careful with that one too. Look it up. The challenge for us is that we never have ing in initial position in UEE standard. We have bong, but not ngob. The Xi'an also do not have asterisk ngob, but they have ngo, sweet, cute. As in the sense of a gesture made by a child or a pet animal. If you do not learn to pronounce this sound correctly, you will never be able to lose your human accent. Often, a good way to practice is to say the word singing and drop off the initial C and leave the N-G-I-N-G -G in place. Repeat it a million times and you will have it. Be prepared to add ink to any vowel or diphthong and to stick on Y and U as W in all scenarios as well. Not every human is capable of this. Good luck. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 13 of 172-2947 A human model for Xi'an pitch with this human developed model and its point of view. Adult UEE learners of Xi'an pitch tend to master the language better than any other pupils who are not raised from childhood speaking it natively. DCOXLP recommends that you start here with a 7-pattern model. 
The best way to use this model is to imagine in your head the pitch of your voice either staying in one space or frequency or modulating up or down over a five-tiered range. All voices are different. Male and female voices are different. Children's and adult voices are different. Getting Xi'an pitch correct is not about hitting precise notes on a music-like scale. It is all relative. If you are trying to say ka at a high pitch and the Xi'an are not understanding you as meaning place, then go a pit higher. If you are attempting a moa at a low pitch and they seem confused, go a bit lower. With practice you will become comfortable with what your own voice does and once you have command of your own range, Xi'an listeners will instinctively hear what your range is and understand it. The rising and falling paradigms are particularly forgiving in most cases, so rather than stressing out about whether you are getting it perfect or not, just shoot for getting there comfortably in your own voice as it maps to this idea of neutral, high, low, and up and down. Mimicking fluent speakers is the best way to become proficient at it. One of the hardest things for non-pitch language speakers to do is to not inadvertently introduce a pitch change on multisyllable words when two or more neutral syllables occur in sequence. So, it is good to begin practicing words like K-Y-E-X-I-I-N from this model. In the end, Xi'an words are just that, words. If you realize that any word in any language has a correct way, on average, to pronounce it and you strive for that, you'll be fine. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 14 of 172-2947. Learning to read Xi'an Average Xi'an citizens cannot read SRX. It will not help you in daily life in the Sao Sion. Therefore, you will need to learn to read their native script in order to understand anything around you. You will find very few native Xi'an food items that you can tolerate eating, so it behooves you to learn to recognize things on menus and in advertisements that you find palatable. There are also often rules posted about behavior in public spaces and it could be a serious faux pas for you to ignore these rules out of ignorance and even innocently violate them. If you are not always traveling with an interpreter and guide, you will likely want to learn to read. There is good news and bad news. The bad news in general is that it is not what most would call easy. The good news is that it is not nearly as daunting as it may appear at first glance when scanning texts like the greeting from Master Professor Tai. Some good news, it is an alphabet. Pitch marking is overtly written and easy to recognize. Spellings are logical and consistent. There is nothing like pair, pair, pair going on with the exception that the L and R sounds are frequently swapped out for each other or conflated. It's not a big deal in the end. You will see and hear Zeus Wayland and Zeshwaran greetings for the same word, though the spelling with L is considered slightly more proper even if it is pronounced by someone as R. Whether written vertically, native, or horizontally, as is most common in this document, the letters are in standard blocks that do not change their shapes, rotation, etc. Once you learn, you can read in any direction with equal ease. Some bad news, there are over 200 different letters or glyphs that you must learn to recognize. The differences between short and long vowels can be very subtle. You'll have to learn to look for them. The requirement that everything fit into a block means that when some of the diphthongs end up in the middle of a word, the smaller glyph portions of the blocks can look radically different than the larger standard forms. Most human learners struggle with this fact. There are a few variations, alternate versions of glyphs, in letter form. These can end up meaning that the same sound can have two different letters that represent it in certain contexts. However, the variations are not arbitrary. They follow Xi'an logic. We will begin by just showing you the entire table of all alphabetic glyphs. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 15 of 172-2947 The full Xi'an alphabet basic block corner variant basic block corner basic block corner can combine with any U diphthong as an initial consonant. With U depth tongues, vowel muting, full stop, pause mid, neutral, low, high, normal, fall, normal, rise, fall to low, rise to high, up, and that a quotation proper name, rare, rise to fall, basic, corner. A. 
Basic vowels, basic diphthongs, glyphs for EA special glyphs Y plus U diphthongs I A A I A percent O O O O O U U U U E A E E A E I E I two E I O W W W O W W W O O O O O O O A I Y A A Y Y I Y Y Y E A E E E basic numerals, basic punctuation, pitch diacritic. So O one one two two three three four four five six seven eight nine five six seven eight nine U A U diphthongs A A U A A A U O O O O O O O O asterisk V V V U E E E U E E U I I I I U I I I I I U A O W O W U A W O W U A U A U O A U A U A I Y Y Y U A Y C Y Y U E A U T H and a zero A A E comma at U Y Y diphthongs A A A Y A A A A K Y O O O O Y O O O O U U U U U U U U Y E E E E E E I E E I O Z Z Z O Z Z Z Y O S C B D O S C B D Y A I E Y Y E E Y Y E U underscore underscore J A O E I hash J O U plus I J P consonants P K K T T S S H H M M N N N G T H L L R R R R G N M T H L X X X Y X C H C K L L K R R Y J dollar 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 asterisk hash DCOXLP. Xi'an Overview 16 of 1722947 Tackling the mechanics of learning the table likely seems daunting. But it's not nearly as overwhelming as a system in practice as it seems at first glance. There will be very little need for you to learn to produce Xi'an handwriting. So your consumption of written Xi'an will largely be about learning to recognize all of the variations of the basic glyphs. The vowels and diphthongs are a good place to start. A O U E I greater than a greater than O greater than U greater than E greater than I next notice that long vowels are all created by adding some dot variation to the base. A O U E E greater than a greater than O greater than U greater than E greater than I the diphthongs are the base vowels combined in various ways with, again, dots added for lengthening. O I O I greater than a greater than O greater than a greater than a greater than O greater than of the U diphthongs all involve the addition of some simplified form of greater than U being added as the first, leftmost or uppermost element of the combination. Greater than U A U B C U A U O U E U E U A O U O A U A I greater than U 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 A small bit of confusion sometimes arises from the fact that in cases like U A O greater than U two dots end up conceptually overlapping so that there is only one where you might expect two different separate points. The Xi'an are not confused by this overlap, and it is best to just learn the few forms that involve these exceptions. The Y diphthongs all involve the addition of some simplified form of Y being added as the first, leftmost or uppermost element of the combination. Y Y Y Y O U Y Y O Y O A Y A I greater than Y 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 you may note that in Y. Greater than Y, the vertical stem component that overlaps with the similar element in I, greater than I, also, overrides it so that we end up with only one stroke serving a double visual purpose. Also, in this typeface, the straight lines of I end up angled in the E diphthong. You will see even more of this in the corner forms coming next. DCOXLP, Xi'an Overview 17 of 172-2947